Hello, it is time once again. We have now got gameplay breakdowns for Sindel, Rain, and Shao Kahn. Let's check this out straight into it. Let's find out what these characters are all about. Two cool things so we're going to start with Sindel. This game is she has these cool VFX. With a Serena. Like this, like a it's a sweep with a Serena cameo. Ooh, Ford 4 Absolutely. is back. Hmm, is that a string or a special? She has a really good range, as you'd imagine, someone with magical long hair. Okay, back throw, got pretty good Oki there. I really wanted to talk about. First is Ford 4, which kind of takes it's out of back. the page. It's back. It looks, uh, it doesn't look like its range is as like good as MK11. Does it have a follow-up? Right. Yes. And it's pretty quick, but it has a really neat new follow-up. Oh, new follow-up? Oh! Combo starter, and she can actually a low that launches. How far she goes. What was that jump? What was that jump kick? Was that a jump Age. kick? That's her jump kick. She's doing the splits in the air. I like it. Jumps into the air. Okay, so low. it's a low that kind of... I wonder if you can, can cancel that low, like when she's she in the air. Because it's pretty easy to react to that. Well, it might confuse like you because she jumps up like that. Version. Or she could just do it by itself, go in for a throw. Go That's for a wrap. <laughs> Thank you. Go for this pool low. What is that? That's not a sweep, strength. that's a launching low. The normals is back two, which leads in with overhead, and she can combo into it, or you can do back two by oh, itself. Oh, I thought that was a dive kick in the here. trailer, but it's a just a follow-up to Let's her back moves. two. We'll start with the classic, the screen, the iconic, and it looks like you can combo from that. It's still one of her best. Combo yep, for starters. sure. It stuns. They can't hear anything for a while. But was that a reset? Or could she do it twice in a combo? I don't think so, but it looked like that for a second. Like I said, it's great to hit confirm. It's With just punish. Exactly okay, yeah, you can definitely right. combo from it. All the time. All the time. Then let's go over fireballs, which are always one of the most important kind of key things about her offense. She has high hairball. Oh, this looks like a very good low fireball. Which is oh, a low one as well? Yes, that's canonical. Hairball. <laughs> and then air hairball. New to this game is it's a Look how low you could do it! it is not the oh, she's got Cassie down. Cage MKX really instant quick, fireballs. Pretty effective. That, that is strong. Hard. It's hitting him! <laughs> Her EX versions have some interesting properties. That is very, very strong. Yeah. Straight one. Oops. The straight one will actually eat up fireballs. Okay, so go straight the through them. Zoning war, you'll actually beat out their projectile. Okay. And the low ones really neat. So she adds that little hair whip at the beginning. And up close, actually a hit that will pop them up. He's in the corner. Oh, it's a pop up. It's a, a pop up in the corner. Is it a oh tight gosh. follow up? There, oh, there we, we go. go. Maybe I don't still have it. <laughs> She's looking pretty good so far. You can Her fireballs seem pretty strong. Next tool. Her cartwheel. The overhead. Straight from MK9. Wow, that looks yeah, exactly like her forward four. It's really good up close. It's great as a wake up attack. You can use it after a move like this. You can mix it up with hello. Yeah, it's shit. Easy. That is a very quick and overhead. Really very that. quick overhead. I wonder like if it's safe. Me, against you, you really have to be paying attention because one of the moves has is a mid, oh. the other is an uh, overhead. Exactly. They look different, but you have to. Yes. You can't just. You can't be on autopilot. Right. And then lastly, mm. she has the So her mix up game left. seems pretty strong. Her zoning game seems pretty strong. Drop straight down. So, like, for example, you're trying to zone. We can use standing low fireballs to go under your hairball. Not very effective to a low fireball when you're literally not touching the ground. Right. Okay, that's kind of slow, can, though. She's. Do the back two. Oh! The she's got the same thing in MK11. Exit, it's actually significantly faster. I wonder if she can loop it over and over and, and get a like a combo. Uh, the, the, the same now loop she had in MK11, I wonder if she can do that. Okay, we're going to see some all. cameo moves with Serena now. So her first attack is the blade. It's a very quick projectile. You can see the cooldown. It's just it's a high, quick. I think. Then she also has it, it looked like a summon. A very quick pose. Yep. She goes oh, demon, she's got a second version. Multiple. They come back. And that's it. This actually leads into combos. So you can do fun stuff. Yeah, it is a summon uh, with the pose. Into a full combo. 
Oh wow. It is fun. 30% of the cameo. Not have... crazy damage, but I'm guessing that's we nowhere hit. near it's optimal. A great attack. It's invincible. It's really quick. You can also use it as an anti-air. Oh, so that's like a, a wake up attack. And then last cameo the move. Hit, a fourth move. Every cameo has at least three. We've seen this one before. It drains meter, I believe. I don't think it does uh, any damage. It just drains meter. I wonder how strong it's going to be to drain meter. Because I feel like you can still get a lot of damage without meter. But the big thing would be that they won't have any armor moves. So you can just keep pressuring them. So, you know, Sindel in the lore, she's the queen. She has this commanding presence. She has, you know, what the kids would say is Riz. Oh, they would say that. <laughs> what? She's got Riz? This buff move, once you activate it, while it's active, cool down, it will be significantly faster for your cameo. So you can see normally, this move's already pretty quick. Whoa! Once do you see the cooldown? It's even quicker and what? She no, so fast no, no. no. There's no way. Surely, you know, you can't just do that so with like a ca uh, Kano cameo with these knife toss. That, that would be broken. Like he has to have a oh, okay. That one has a slower cooldown. So it's going to be different Correct. with each cameo, yeah. the cooldown. But, but there was, <laughs> there's definitely going to be some broken combination with some cameo that you can just spam over and over. She's controlling the opponent's cameo. They will be stunned. And you get a reset oh instead. wow so let's show that again i have the move active but she she needs to yeah and how long is it active for because as soon as you see her do that move you're just oh not gonna God. break Sindel can take control of an opponent's cameo and stun them so for example i will call it out and sonia is actually dizzy yep if Sindel that was pretty is long of stunned for this entire length of time. And then can you just beat up the cameo and it does damage it's to the opponent? The version. With this version, Sony will leave the screen and I gain control of her. And I huh? actually get a free use of Excuse me? Issues. Excuse so me? Example, I now have square wave. Oh, so I think it costs the, the meter of the opponent. So you just use their cameo and then they once you use it, they got no more cameo because it's got a it's got a cooldown. I don't know. I think uh, Sindel is looking very strong. She's got a very good overhead that's very quick. She's got low that pops up. I'm guessing it's unsafe, but you can make it safe with cameos. Sindel is looking very, very strong. She's got this cameo mechanic, uh, which could be very, very good to spam out cameos. I don't know about the one that steals cameos or this is the Fatal blow. Oh, yeah, the big okay, we're gonna move on to rain now, and looks like they got striker. So we're gonna see some striker cameo gameplay for the first time. Hopefully they showcase striker. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to do that. He's changed a lot since uh, Mortal Kombat or previous Mortal Kombat. He's now a mage. He's gonna be probably a zoner. So let's see. And he is definitely now much oh, that's less a high. of a physical fighter than he ever had. Before. High, high, overhead. Okay, he's looking pretty slow. His strings are looking very slow. But he's probably going to be a zone, all right? How is that a high? I love the kick up. The kick up. It's so good. How is that a high? Uh, that must be a mistake. Surely that's a low. Okay, let's see. Mid, low, high. Really good range mid. Pretty quick. At last, it's, it's probably plus on block. Okay, so he does have an overhead, overhead, which is... Oh, it's very slow, though. It looks kind of slow. It looks like Sub-Zero's overhead, which is uh, reactable. It won't be reactable day one, because you just won't see it coming. But after a few weeks and months, I think you'll definitely react to it. Oh, he's got his uh, roundhouse kick. So strong that he can actually kick you across the wall. Is that just a normal? It's not a special move? Because if you hold it... Oh, you can combo from it. It is a high, though. But you can use, like, a frost, frost cameo to freeze the opponent, and then you have time to charge up that kick. So I guess that's the best way to use it. Oh, wow, look at this. Knocks them fairly far away. Yeah, he's a completely new character. Some might even call him a premier zoner. Okay, yep, he's a premium zoner. Which that is takes a looks of pretty quick. It's fairly quick. It is a high though. Interesting ways that you can change it. If you EX it, he gets a full knockdown. He can actually hold it down. 
and get a stagger. Oh, wow. You can definitely combo you can from that. Cancel out of this hold down. So you can mix up doing the move, timing, yeah. doing different timings, doing yes, or canceling out of it. Mm, I wonder if she. I wonder if he's got cancel he combos. He might have cancel combos. Space. What's the one thing like you know a smoke head cancel combos? Oh, he's got an anti air version. And this has a very neat EX that actually allows him to pop up for combos. Oh, and his combo tool. Mmm. So even though he's a zoner, he's still got uh, combo tools. So maybe you could just play him like a rushdown character. I don't think zoning is going to be very strong in this game because we've seen Motaro, Sub Zero cameo. That's like anti zoning. It looks pretty. It doesn't last very long though. Set up. Go behind. Okay. Go in the middle of. Works as a Yeah, that doesn't last very long at all. Surrounds him. And travels yeah, the EX version doesn't down. last exactly. that long either. So mm, I don't know if that's going to be very low, good. Like the Sub Zero cameo anti zoning now, tool lasts much, much longer. He could set these water portals and he can set them anywhere he wants. What, what do and these do? Wow. So, cool stuff, like set so he's here, a, also a setup and character? Get out, warp back to where you were. Or when you're in, you can set one, do some fun zoning, and then use this to get back in. Wait, he went to the back the first teleport. Maybe you can choose which one you want to go into. So it could be like a mix-up tool, bait your opponent with uh, his teleports. Oh, wow, he's got another special. What is this? It's a low. Mm. And it's a combo starter. It's obviously pretty slow. Well, actually, mm. another move he has is his geyser. This is a wow. Favorite. How many special moves special this guy got? Two and one and two. And if he exits, it has armor. So it's a good wake up attack. Okay, that's his armor move. I wonder if it's safe. It and might be lastly, safe. Lastly, one more awesome. Oh, one more. Move that kind of shows the full extent of his power. What is this? So, cool. so that's this another pop up. Is this being? Pull. Is this an EX version? Or cancel and just drop down. So you He's do probably gonna have air combos. I wonder if you 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 you, you pop them up and then you do that. You know you do the air string into that and then you can continue the combo. Is that an EX version where it pops up or is that just a regular version that's popping up there with the launcher? I can't really tell. Because the it looks like the the meter is just regaining instantly, but I, I think it's just meterless. He's going to be a really interesting character to kind of freeze them up full screen. Again. Okay, so he had an overhead low, and then he had an overhead so overhead there. So he's got a ghetto mix up there. The let's let's take a look at Striker. Combat, sure. right? So the first thing I'll show with Striker is he has his grenade toss. Straight out of him. That's an ambush. Comes in, throws the double grenades. They can either go low or high. And you can imagine, these are ambush moves, which means... This Maybe actually looks like a very good uh, so cameo assist. It's, it's kind of like Kano's. You're doing your straight water beam. Like I imagine you can combo beam. from these. They can also aid you in combos. So you can do stuff like... It's it's a bit uh, more uh, vertical. Striker also has and it aims towards the sky, power. unlike Kano's, which is basically He's completely horizontal on the ground. Where he comes in oh, wow, that's just one hit. And the classic baton. Oh, he's got a mix up with that. I don't know if these are going to be any so, good. You got your overhead, you yeah, he just gives you a mix up. The time, they don't want to but it doesn't up. lead to a full what combo. To Sweep them. But you can also do this in a string. So it gives a hard knockdown, though. Can do overhead, low. Then mm -hmm. they can... Cop -bop. Oh, that looks. So I don't think you can react to that. 50, he can use striker to have more 50. But it just like, knocks him down. So I'm guessing it's safe. Exa that's if it's not safe, then it's yeah. complete oh, trash. But I'm guessing both like of them are safe because it just it just does one hit and it knocks them right down. So you can just complete. You can basically loop it over and over. You can loop the mix up over and over and over again until they block it. Striker comes from behind and handcuffs. Yeah, I've, I saw this, this in one of the videos. Then you get a bunch of advantage and you can go for a mix up. Okay. Didn't combo from so that. Got it. It's super That's fun. That's really cool. Yeah. 
Okay, that one comboed. And so I'm I guessing you can combo a... after that as well or go that's for the a reset a with a, a ghetto mix-up. Oh, yeah, I don't think it's we've it's seen his fatal blow. Okay. Well, we've seen strikers. I don't think we've seen rains, though. The quality is so bad. Okay, not bad, not bad. All right, now we're up to the final character, General Shao. So, so far, I would say Sindel looks stronger to me than Rain. I don't think uh, zoning... Oh, interesting, I'm looking at Shao Kahn here. He has 950 health, which is less than Liu Kang, who's got 1,000, which is interesting because in Mortal Kombat 11, Shao Kahn had the highest health. He had 1,100. So, have they completely changed him where he's now got the least health in the game? Maybe that means he's really strong. And we're also going to see some more Mataro as a cameo assist. Let's see. Big thing, just to show, this is kind of the thesis statement. Just, just swings for the fences. He's a then he's down up. two. This is back two. It, it has advantage. Oh, back two. So if you're blocking, don't want to push any buttons, probably. Oh, it's plus? Yeah, okay, that's there. good. Um, that's pretty good. This is a really quick... If it's a mid. Kind of almost get a little distance to it, too. Like, I can get you from there. Like, really nice... So is that a mid or a high? Right. It looks like a high. Uh, punishing move I like to use is, the, is, is this right here. Okay, that's a high. Very fast. Bounces him up. We can show some more stuff with that later. Oh, but yeah, it does. Wow, he's works. got a... A launching really jab like string. That's good. Are just either uses Zax or he's just huge big boots. <laughs> just like yeah, standard just... big boot. He has this overhead. Doesn't combo into anything. But okay. Hit the throw button afterwards. So good. Or side switch. And he also has a low one as well. And I'm sure we'll come back to those later as well. And the low right. one does uh, not side let's switch. Let's talk about his special moves. Uh, his special move, the one that kind of encapsulates what he is, is power strike he will just throw the axe on the ground and so he used me to there seven eight seconds just to do stuff without the axe right you can also call it back Boom. okay now when it's on the ground different strings that's back back one. Oh wow completely different strings nice. he also and then he picks the it up again so all of his axe moves get replaced with different normal attacks. Yes. And some are faster, some have different reactions. Right, some, uh, and some change some of your other special moves. We'll get to that in a second. Even his throw changes. Yes, even his throw. So here's his throw. Okay, so he's basically a stance character with this axe. I got a full screen Whoa. projectile. It's kind of slow, I guess. You can probably easily react and jump over it. Sorry about that. You can do some... This. Pops up. Oh, that's nice. it's a pop up. Um, he has a the buff. EX version. This makes your Man. Axe get, uh, powers do more damage. You can okay. also meter EX that to get more time on it. As that well. seems pretty good because um, he's his overhead his swing his seems like an overhead, so he's probably going to have some mix ups there. Also, his uh, armored launcher is his knee. What armored launcher? Uh, that doesn't look like a launcher. Kind of makes me think of the MK3 like up shoulder, except now it's a knee. If you uh, EX the knee, you get a free power slam after that. So you can do like that. Okay. It is a launcher! Is on the ground again. Okay. So that's how what? you rotate throughout the character. Oh, right? this character's broken. So then you can start doing an really cool armored stuff launcher. Like this into, into power slam. That used one bar of meter. Nice. That's a pretty nice chunky combo. And now you have the axe. An back. armor that right. does 34 percent. When the axe is on the ground. Oh boy, this character cool looking scary. Power slam. Now, I have a ground pound. Is that an unblockable? Now here's the interesting thing. When you are on the axe, it is an overhead low. Okay, so it's just a. Okay. It's an overhead low. Kind of tough to block. Yeah. But it's you can also, if they're not on the axe, it's just a low. I'm guessing. Uh, do this. And you get a oh, combo like a from it. Off. Right. Yeah. Wait, so you have this character is kind of broken. Near it and it's very fast. Slash. Okay. Um. So okay. a lot of really cool stuff you can do. And he's so he's clearly meant to be going in and out during yes. the fight, in the middle of combos, getting it back at the end of combo. Maybe recalling it if you want to. Right. Lots of stuff like that. But if you are as a as my opponent near the axe, there's a lot of stuff you need to think about. Right, so it, it's almost like with the axe, you have, you know, kind of really good range, not the quickest moves. Without the axe, you're much quicker, and yes. you can use it 
establish the X on the screen, and they're going to have to respect it, and that's going to kind of open yeah, up. This character seems kind of good. Like you know, Shao Kahn was pretty cool. much bottom um, tier in MK11. Like I don't think he's going to be bottom tier in MK1 from what we're seeing so far. The, the, the knee in the power, power, uh, power strike is huge. Well, I can do this. I can uh, pull him out and walk behind it. You don't want to be throwing projectiles. That. That's so and that good. That will reflect. And I'm, I'm walking it down with that. I love that, you know, that's... So it's only a projectile reflection, uh, I'm guessing. Right. So you can just walk up and hit him. And he also has this, this turret he can do. He'll shoot uh, three shots at you. Has a low one too, he can do that. Now, oh, he's got a low version? We haven't seen I've that before. Tara with General Shao for a reason. Okay. Remember this move. Yeah. He's overhead. Right. He has his teleport, right? Okay. But maybe you can read a projectile, maybe not. But you can move around the battlefield quicker as right. General Shao. But with this overhead, I can teleport and still and continue a, a combo. Wow, it's a combo, a combo so extender? And you have to worry about uh, something like this. Like, that's now in play. Right. Wait, is Matoro kind of good? Uh, the full thing, too. You can do, like... What a cool example of one of my favorite things about Wait, the game. Wait, how <laughs> Look at this combo. That is pretty cool. Of your and I think Use one bar of meter there with a cameo so assist as well. The 33%, which is not crazy from what we've right. seen, it's but I'm guessing it's not optimal. And I think yeah, it's got so some interesting mechanics, these kind of axe stances. Look at me at a dot, right? Right. Now I'm close again. Now you're close. Now you don't want to beat me. Well, yeah. I don't think Rain as a zoner will be that strong yeah, but maybe it's good enough as uh just to play a standard mortal combat because there's so much anti-zoning drops it from the sky oh yeah is that an unblockable or is that an overhead oh he's not horsing around <laughs> Okay. Okay, let's get into this match. Shao Kahn versus Baraka. Let's see what Baraka's all no, about. No, these are our two monster brawler guys. They love to fight. They're nasty. And the, uh, so Baraka's got, got Baraka Striker. Striker. Leaves the blades in the ground. Regrows blades. Awesome. And with Mataro. I have no idea why Striker would be working with Baraka. Let's see what Baraka can do. You oh. always have to follow the lore. Can you get a combo? That was not a combo. So maybe he can't combo from his uh, thing there. Wow. <gasps> Ooh, that did a lot of damage though. That overhead. Power slam. Okay, he has the... Let's see if Shao keeps him in the corner. Nope, switch aside. Now you came with that move. 37%. Oh, he's in the blender now. Oh, is that an overhead? Oh. Baraka's got he's an overhead. Bob. Back to playing the neutral. That big jump stop that stop for Baraka does is very funny. Is yes. that unsafe? Oh yes, that is definitely unsafe. Oh, this is gonna be big. big punish, is he dead? Oh, drop the combo, how, I think. Uh, he had a, his knee uh, with a pop up without. I didn't get a hit there. Without any meter. Forgot to block the second part of that fatal blow. The low, that's tricky. Okay, Need so it's got it. two hits. The Baraka fatal blow. Trying to remember that when the game actually comes out. And it's a low. All right, let's see. One way to look at it is at least Rocka no longer has his fatal blow. Okay, he's got an air special. A bit like Lee May. Breaker. Oh, there's the overhead again. I love that his breaker is just a big hind kick. All right, let's so see. To see oh, back. he buffed He's up his uh, axe. Makes Did they talk very, about very that? I might have missed it. I've always wanted him back. Very oh, wow. Exciting. Here we go. Here we go. Is it going to kick, take him out of the corner? No, no you don't want to do that. Twice, do I'm guessing there's yes. a, a better ender to not the no kick them out of the corner. Up. Oh. I think that was his overhead back. without the axe. Very quick overhead when the, when the axe is in the ground. Right, no, they just said that. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. There could be matchups where it's better to not use your Throw counter. Is that overhead that was a launcher from Baraka safe? Because he didn't punish it. 
Does he get a launcher here? Oh, breaker. Man, why do Another you have to breaker. break? They take three bars in this game, and I think one thing a lot of people forget is your cameo has to be available. Mm -hmm. And notice when he breaks right then, right before, before power strike. Got hit there. He's the the ground. Oh, the overhead again. This is a close one. Okay. Oh, really good, good punish. Oh, set up. The turn out. Nice. Oh, wow. Did he get mixed up there? That'll be it. With the Let's Mataro do do. punch. So well, that's, that's General Shao Kahn, or General <laughs> Shao, I should say, and bomber. Mataro. So, for fun, I've done a tier list, a prediction tier list. So this is not an actual tier list. This is just a for fun prediction tier list that I thought I'd make based on the characters we've seen proper breakdowns of so far and that have been playable. So I have put Shao Kahn and Sindel in the S tier because I think they got a lot of potential to be one of the strongest characters in the game. I've also got Smoke there because Smoke, he's got those overhead low mix-ups that are very, very quick. I think his overhead is going to be unreactable and with Cam, you can probably get a full combo from that and I think that's gonna be really strong in this game And then I've got the three beta characters Johnny Sub-Zero and Kenshi as well. They were clearly Clearly a lot better than the other three that I've got in B uh, Lee Mei, Liu Kang and Katana There was like a big difference between those three and the other three and then in the middle uh, A tier I think Gearus. I had Gearus in S tier, but I had a few too many in S tier So I put Gearus and AT. I don't think he's got any crazy mix-ups at this point and this game seems like these overhead low mix-ups are going to be difficult we've seen some Kung Lao now with the the story mode and things and there's been a few breakdowns on YouTube and he's got a really good overhead but the thing with Kung Lao is I'm not sure if he's got a really good low to kind of mix that up but I know his overhead is insane then Baraka we just saw that gameplay and we definitely saw some mix there so I, I don't know how how safe it is so I just put him in A tier because it looks like he's got a lot of potential and then rain I've got an A tier as well he might be in B at B tier but I think he's got so many different special moves and different ways to play him that there is probably a lot of potential that he could be strong and we did see some overhead low mix-ups with him I think his overhead's a little bit too slow and then we got the thing with Scorpion I've got him in B and the reason is we've they did a breakdown on Scorpion but they didn't show off too much so um I don't, we haven't seen anything, he seems solid, but we haven't seen anything broken from Scorpion that makes me go, wow, uh, this character is going to be difficult to fight against. When you compare it to these other characters, they just seem to have something that's completely broken. And that's the same thing with Ashra. We didn't really see anything too crazy, but maybe we just haven't seen enough of them yet. Maybe they break, their breakdowns were pretty short and we just haven't seen how good they really can be. And then we haven't seen... Uh, Reptile, Havoc, Tanya, Raiden, and Melina just yet, so we should be seeing them pretty soon. Anyway, that is Sindel, Rain, and Shao Kahn gameplay.